Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to find Hanover Hardings in Nazaire. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to apply Nazaire Hanover using single factor method. Hanover stands for analysis of variance. Hanover in Nazaire is a special method that is used to test the difference between two or more mean. Hanover in Nazaire is a single and two factor method used to perform the new hypothesis test, which says if the test will be passed for new hypothesis, also if all population values are exactly equal to each other. Once we get the output, we could conclude if we can consider or reject the data on the basis of the comparison of F and F critical value. If less than F critical, then we can consider the new hypothesis is as passed. However, if F greater than the F critical value, then we can consider the new hypothesis as failed. In this video tutorial, video tutorial, I am going to show you how to apply a Z Hanover using single factor method by following the step I am going to show you here. Here is the data table showing the raw materials used to make products in a manufacturing department. Okay. Now we are going to check the raw materials used which are significantly different from different departments which are departmental A, B and C respectively by using ANOVA tools following this step I'm going to show you here. Now the first step is that just go to your data at the top here okay and click on the you can navigate down to your right hand side and click on the data analysis okay once you have done that we will get the analysis dialog box pop up in the in the analysis dialog box we can see that the this of all the analysis tools where we can see the ANOVA single factor you can see it right up here okay just click on it so once you do that then click on what okay button okay so that we get the ANOVA single factor dialog box pop up now we can see the input you can see the input rate in the dialog box then go back to your data table and select your input range okay just select your all your input range right from so i'm going to select from the b7 to what d7 including the department to get the exact output too you can see it right up here now the input rate has been selected and make sure that the column the column checkbox is selected okay now next step is that we want to select the output tree where the where our output needs to go display so now check this board likewise label the post -reach. just check it now so now we are going to check the output range too so i will check the output range right here okay now what's once i have done that i will select the output range set as f1 right here okay i will select the output range here as f1 where the output is going to work is um, where the output is going to be displayed then make sure the label list first row here as i said the little the little check board is selected and then we'll click on what okay button now you can see the result the result shows the summary part and the anova where the summary part contain the contain the uh, part contain the group name you can see it so let me expand it a little bit here okay okay contain the group name okay you can see departmental a b and what c you can see you can also see the number of count okay you can see it's the six and uh, the song okay 
and the average then the variance respect and the hanover shows a list a list of summary where we need to check the f value and the f critical value now the f is means that the is mean between group or within the group okay and f statistic the f statistic is nothing about the values okay but the values we where we can get uh, when we get the uh, where we are going to execute the ANOVA which is used to determine the means between the two population civil category. Okay. Now the F value are always used along with what the P values to check the result are significant and it shows and it is it and it is enough to reject the null hypothesis. If we if we get the F value okay greater than what the F critical value okay now then we can reject the new hypothesis which means that this which means that something is significant but in the example here we cannot reject the new hypothesis because the f value is what smaller than what the f critical value and the department how to result are not significant this is shown at the right hand side you can see them here here if you are running an exe hanover single factor make sure that the variance one okay the variance one here okay is smaller than what well, the variance two you can see them the variance one is must be smaller than better in the example here we can see that the okay sorry the variance one here this is 965 must be um be smaller than the variance what Two yeah. So now in this example, we can see that the first variance, which is what nine six five, okay, point four six six, is, is what smaller than the the variance two, yeah, which is what one thousand seven nine one. So now, please note, as the Hanover two will work exactly if we have correct input or end up with wrong data make sure that the first variance okay value is smaller than the, wall, the second variance to get the as the to get the exact f value okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exact function bye and stay blessed